yes hello guys so today i want to teach you about how to form augmented codes now i want you to realize that an augmented code is formed by a one a three and a sharp five so given that you have a major triad for example of c you just sharpen the five just take it higher by a semitone you already have a c augmented that is how simple an augmented is formed if you are for example in c sharp you just sharpen this note you already have a c sharp augmented if you are for example in D, just sharpen the 5. Okay? If you are in E flat, just sharpen the 5. If you are in uh, E, you know, this is E, just sharpen the 5. If you are in for, for instance F, just sharpen the 5. If you are in F sharp, just sharpen the 5. Okay? Okay? If you are for example in which key? G, just sharpen the 5. Okay? If you are in a G sharp, just sharpen the 5. If you are in A, just sharpen the 5. Okay. If you are in a B flat, just sharpen the 5. If you are in B, just sharpen the 5. Then you get back to C. But instead of wasting yourself into all that, eh? instead of wasting yourself into all that, we only have very, 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 a very, very good shortcut of getting all the augmented codes on the keyboard. We only have four major, four major ones, and that is uh, C augmented, C sharp augmented, uh, D augmented, and E flat. Once you, uh, once you understand those four, the, the rest are just inversions. You're just inverting to get the next one. For instance, let me let me show you practically. If you have something like, uh, if you have something like a C augmented, okay, the, this note you are just in, you're just holding. Let me tell you the truth. If you invert it. You, in, into the this is the root position. If you take it to the first inversion, I'm assuring you, you are going to get the augmented code for E. Okay, so this is C augmented. But if you invert it, it no longer remains as E augmented. It will become the, the augmented code for E. So you see, you if you remove that C and drop it here, I'm telling you the truth. This is this one changes from a C augmented in version one into something else. <laughs> which is E augmented because e, e is formed by this is E major chord you will agree with me E major chord when you sharpen <laughs> when you sharpen this note this is what it gives you and if you invert it actually actually if you invert it actually you are going to get a C a C augmented so that is how funny it is so once you have this this is this is the augmented for C it is the augmented for E and it's augmented for G sharp because again if you invert if you invite you get this but if you are going to invert from here what are you going to get what are you going to get so you are going to get this uh, now count Wh which is what is the augmented uh, code for G sharp it's this one because this is this is the 5 and this is the sharp 5 you already have a 1 a 3 and a sharp 5 <laughs> so when you get the augmented for for instance an augmented for C you have an augmented for C, already you have an augmented for E, and you have an augmented for G sharp. If you get the um, augmented for, for for example, C sharp, C sharp, okay? You have the augmented code for C sharp, you have an augmented code for F, you have an augmented code for A. Because if you are going to invert this, eh? basically that's an augmented for F, okay? Because you have a 1, you have a 3, and you have a sharp 5. This is the 5. This is the sharp five. <laughs> okay? That is how simple it is. That is how simple it is. And when you invert it, you'll get the augmented code for A. You'll get an augmented code for A. Because an A major triad is formed by 135. When you sharpen this note, <laughs> so you see, then when you come to which which other one? We are going to D. We are going to, to D. D augmented. So if you have D augmented, already you have D, already you have F sharp augmented, and already you have B flat augmented. I know for the intermediates, late intermediates and advanced players have already gotten this. So if you have this one, when you invert it, basically when you invert this code, it will give you an F sharp augmented because an F sharp code is formed by this. So if you sharpen the five, but if you do the inversion and take this note away and uh, bring it here, it becomes a D augmented. <laughs> so when you come here, when you also do an inversion, you get a B flat, B flat, augmented B flat augmented so that is how we form it then the last one the last set will give you four will give you another three 
which will be so we have we have dealt with C, we have dealt with D, we have dealt with uh, C, C sharp, we have dealt with D. We're going to E flat. So E flat, E flat augmented. Here it is. So this one already you have the augmented for E flat, augmented for for G, and the augmented for B. Because if you are going to do an inversion here, okay, you will realize that already it has given you an augmented for G. It has given an augmented for G because that G major chord sharpened the five. Basically, that that's what is it. So, uh, if you do the inversion, it will give you an augmented for B again. <laughs> it will give you an augmented for B because a B major trial is from this way. So drop this, so you see. So once you you understand those 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 four augmented chords, just understand, find the augmented chord for C, then C sharp, then D, then D sharp. You already have all the twelve augmented. They are inversions. If you do that, that 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 that. For example, for example, what? For example, uh, C augmented, C augmented. When you take it to the first inversion, it will give you the one for E. If you take it to the second one, it will give you the one for C sharp, for for G sharp. Basically, that's what we do. Once you understand those four, you already have all the augmented chords on the keyboard. God bless you. I will be teaching on applications for augmented chords in the near future. Continue tuning into this to this uh, channel. Don't forget to share, don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to like, hit that notification bell so that you'll be notified anytime I release something new. God bless you and may you have a very, 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 very good week ahead.